though it's kind of chilly up here. Yeah, we should have packed you a little sweater. Another bit of rust for your collection? Oh, cool. I don't have this one yet. Another one. Some bad news. What? Oh, you found another seed, didn't you? Yes. Another one. We're gonna get stuffed. This one is nice and ripe. <laughs> At least it's not trying to attack us for a change. Looks like he's trying to release the flow. I wonder if he'll manage to do it. We'll Just wait and see. Huh. <laughs> oh. He's not very good at it. It doesn't have claws, poor guy. Give him a minute. Oh. Mm. All right, enough. No, wait. Great. Now it's noticed you. Oh. <laughs> Okay, party time is over. <laughs> I'm okay with that. But look at his face. <laughs> For real. Ready? Go, go, go! Go, go, okay. Ouch! Okay, I get it. Joke time is over. Hey, that's cheating. Shield up! See you around. Ugh. Are you all right? He's getting worn out. He's right for they're up to something. I got this. Bye bye. One to go. His tongue is hanging. Oh, ah. All set. Now. Keep going. Keep going. Ah. 
We need to shoot right after. Shouldn't we pacify instead? Shielding. Perfect. That's it. Clean, scrubbed, peeled. <laughs> what a turkey. <laughs> More like a big parsnip. You're the big parsnip. Uh, so what's he doing now? Whoa! Maybe you're not such a turkey after all. Now we know who to call if there are bridges that won't pop out. Come over here. We need to show you something. <sighs> that was worth it, wasn't it? Sure was. Should I open it or should you? Finding anything? No. There's nothing left here, either. Just a bunch of old cardboard boxes. What's in there? Nothing of interest. Scribbled paper, small wooden cubes. What? Let me see. <gasps> this is Alpha Zululum. And all of the expansions. What is it? It's an old board game. The foster home had one. I've always dreamed of playing it. If you had it at home, why didn't you play it? Oh, we played it, but there was a curfew of midnight, and we never got to finish a round, let alone a whole game. Uh, you know, the people who lived here probably left the game behind for a reason. Yes, so that you and I could get to play it. Here, can you carry the basic game? I'll take the expansions. this feeling that hornets are gonna pop up at any moment. That's why we need to remain ready.
Are you sleeping? Of course not. Hornets? Yeah. Can you imagine if some more of them came out while we were sleeping? They could just pick us right up. I thought about that. I thought we could take shifts. One sleeps while the other is standing guard. <laughs> no. I didn't come here with you so I could sleep alone. I think I'd rather have insomnia with you than sleep without you. <laughs> Sweet insomnia then. Hmm. Sweet insomnia. We're getting close to the fragment that the Hornets flagged. If we're going to find a communications post anywhere, that's the place. looking for again parts for the nest oh yeah right whoa what's up you won't believe me ready when you are all set he's ripe for the picking harvest time I got this Let's get it over with. And done. <sighs> Leave Kay alone. Eat ha! In your face. <sighs> that looks bad. Egg is right for the picking. Harvest time. Cover me. Ready? Let's do this. Goodbye. That was easy. Are we saving those for later? Of course. a little rotten, isn't it? You're a little rotten. Huh? Sorry, it was a reflex. It's crazy. It really feels like you're flying. Well, technically. Yeah. 
Should we check it, or...? No need. We already have a gyro. Ready when you are. Ready! Let's get it over with. And done. Cover me. Watch out. <gasps> there you go. On your mark. Yeah. Are you all right? Awesome. I have a bad feeling about it. Ready when you are. All set. You? Yep. Saw that. You block. I'll hit. See you around. One left. Ready? Go, go, go! Boom, baby! On your mark. Anytime. This one's ready. Yep. Your turn. I got this. No shoes. That's how we rock. Okay, this place is a wasteland. I'm wondering how this thing is still standing. <sighs> At least one thing is clear. We're not gonna find anything good in here. Is that so? Then what do you call this? A bunch of crappy old wires? A bunch of admittedly well-loved wires, yes. But they could be functional. Even if they were, what would you use it for? Who knows? Could come in handy. Handy for what? Okay, think about it. You need to plug a thing into another thing. You'll need a wire for that, won't you? Don't we have enough wires laying around the nest? <laughs> enough wires. <laughs> you are so funny, Kay. Where do you come up with this stuff? Cooking. Do you think we'll have enough? We never have enough. See a hornet, just scream, okay? I think that's what I would do naturally. Whew. There's no way you can't feel the difference. I mean, I think I can feel it. That's what I said.
No doubt about it. The apiary went all out with this colonization. Have you ever seen such a large vid chat? Yeah. I used to know someone who had one like this on his roof terrace. Was it you? Oh, no. Ours wasn't that big. The one at the house was about half that size. Oh, yeah. Tiny. Do you think this one still works? This should allow us to get in touch with Arena, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Only one way to find out. Okay, back there? So far, so good. Let's share those. Mark. Go, go, go! He's ripe for the picking. Harvest time. Let's get it over with. And done. Ready when you are. Awesome. He's getting worn out. Nice one. I got this. Shield up. I have a bad feeling about this. Cover me. Careful. That's gotta hurt. In your face. Are you okay? I'll keep them at bay. Right for the picking. Harvest time. I got this. 
Let's get it over with. And down. Uh. That looks bad. One to go. Aha! Now that is a hit. You like that? Oh! No, 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 no! Boom. You're safe. Nice. Bam! That'll teach him. Dodge this one! Nice shot. Three, two, one. Now! It's ripe for the picking. Harvest time. This one's ready. Yep. Done and done. Done and done. Got this. Watch out. <laughs> On your mark. Now. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. What's up? Getting tired? Ready. Go, go, go. Awesome. You? Yep. I got your back. Sweet. One. Watch out. One left. Bam! You block, I'll hit. On your mark. Three, two, one. Now! Wow! Oh, you're safe! Nice! He lowered his guard. That one must sting. Ready when you are. Ready. Ooh. Cover me. Uh. Are you okay? Ready. You know what to do. I got this. He's right for the picking. Harvest time. Who's next? Are you seeing anything now? Nothing. It's all black. Hmm. And now? Ah, there's a bit of white noise. And now? White noise and some skips. And now? Now it just skips. Oh. Oh, what did you just do? I did nothing at all. Then keep on doing nothing. I think the image just got clearer. Okay, I think it's all good to go. Are you ready? Never been readier. This has to be the first time I'm actually eager to talk to my mother.
Uh, Mom? Arena listening? Uh, Mom? You? Is that you? Uh, yeah. Me and Kay. Hello. Where are you two? Are you doing okay? Uh, we're on Source, and... Oh no. Did you really make it to Source? Mm. You need to leave right away. The Council has ordered Hornet drones to be sent on your trail. Yeah, we know that. We have, uh, taken care of it. <sighs> you are completely insane. They started it! It's even worse than I thought. What? What? What is worse? Can you just tell me what's happening? <sighs> After you disappeared, the Council issued an advisory notice about you. That was a bad idea. People started to imagine things. That you might have managed to fall off the apiary's radar. That you might be starting a new life together in outer space against the decisions of the matchmaker. And? That's pretty accurate. That's the issue. You two have become a symbol. People are talking about following your lead. The Council cannot allow this to happen. And then there was this signal coming from a supposedly abandoned planet. Listen, you need to come home immediately. I can fix all of this. I can placate Lord Ozius. What? Why Lord Ozius? Because he's furious. What did you expect? I don't understand. Don't tell me that you're not aware. Aware of what? There are a lot of things we weren't aware of. Here's a random one. Source was colonized? <sighs> yes, that is another issue. You weren't supposed to see that. See what, exactly? <sighs> what have you seen? Quit stalling. What happened on Source? Why aren't people aware of what happened in this colony? Why is everything deserted? Okay. Yes, Exanova has contributed to the settlement of a colony on Source. At the time, I was only Vice President, and no one knows because it happened differently. Rather than integrating the planet to the apiary, they decided to make a... a sort of... an external colony. What does that mean? It means that they only came in to plunder the flow. It's a little more complex than that. Uh-huh. But yes... Broadly speaking, that's it. Exanova had just completed work on a new experimental power plant. Its drill could extract flow directly from the planet's core, then the flow was condensed to make transport easier. Huh. That seems dangerous. As long as the plant is properly maintained, it's safe. And then? The plant was not properly maintained. After about 30 years, the infrastructure started to age. The president of Exanova at the time figured that replacing it would be too costly. Well, you saw the end result. The rust? I'm sorry? The rust. That red stuff. It's everywhere. Oh, that. Sure, kind of. But what I meant was the explosion. The capacitor tank started to develop a crack. The flow became unstable, which triggered a chain reaction into the core, and... Did you? Hold on. You precipitated the explosion of an entire planet just for some flow? It's an unfortunate chain of events, which... And the people. The people who lived and worked on Source. What happened to them? Most of them were evacuated, but some weren't so lucky. I would love to give you more details, but you don't have a lot of time. The Council has decided to make an example of you. If they catch you here, there's nothing I can do for you. But if you come back now, I could probably smooth things over. We'll match you up with your respective mates. We'll get you to read a disclaimer letter. We'll make something up. Everything will be back to normal. Everything's already normal. Everything's already normal. I love Kay, and Kay loves me. We're together. That's normal. But you're not the only two people in this universe. Think about the others. Think about the long run. The matchmaker may not be the best system, but it's the least bad that we found. Do you want to go back to the days of the Mark? Recreate the inequalities that the Elders have worked so hard to erase. You really think you're much happier now? That's great. But your selfishness has already left two other people in the dust. So now, can you imagine if everyone did what you did? Everyone would be happier. Of course not. Sure, everyone loves to complain about the matchmaker every now and then. 
but everyone is a lot more scared of what the alternative might be. The matchmaker is a guarantee. It ensures what we are building together will not crumble beneath our feet. The promise of a future, durable, everlasting. Can you say that you'll hold that promise? Absolutely. We love each other. But you will also love your mates, and they will love you back. Love does not have to be a large fire which consumes everything. You have to build it, you have to keep it alive. Just like the chimney fires in fairy tales which keep us warm in the winter. Isn't that kind of love at least as beautiful as yours? Huh. You. Have you ever in your life had to question the love that your mother and I had for each other? Was it any less than the one that you share? No, but... Love is greater and more complex than you can imagine. Love always finds a way. You will always find a way as well. We'll have to act fast to clean up your mess. Our mess. What mess? Is love a mess? Living together, is that a mess? You know very well that's not what I meant, Kay. No, I do not. Come on, you. Let's go. No, wait, you can't! I'm sorry I insisted on contacting her. I didn't think that... Kay. <sighs> Do you mind if we go back to the nest? I'm not really feeling up to, um... Up to anything, actually. You know what? You're right. Let's go home. Are you okay? You haven't said a word the whole trip back. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. It's just a lot to take in. I can't believe my mom hid all this from me. This whole- Get in here. At least now we know that's what we wanted, isn't it? Yeah. There's still one thing I don't really understand. She mentioned Lord Ozius at one point. I don't understand what that Boron has to do with all this. He's too young to have been involved in the whole secret colony thing. I mean, sure, he's pretty tight with the council, but I still don't get how this is any of his business. I, uh, I, uh, I think I know. Oh yeah? Do you promise you won't get mad? What? Why would I get mad? It's about the guy I was matched with. Who cares about that guy, though? Right. Uh, uh, I mean... Hold on. Are you telling me that Ozius is your partner? Um... Ozius? The Ozius. Blued hole in chief. The very one. And you are telling me now? You said you didn't care who my mate was. Because I thought that it was some random person, not one of the most influential and demented people in the apiary. You never considered that I might find this tidbit to be important? I was scared you would change your mind if I told you. I might have changed my mind, yes. Fleeing the apiary is one thing. But Lord Ozius is a maniac. You humiliated him by refusing the match. He'll never give up on us. I humiliated him? We left together in case you missed it. He is your partner. So it's my fault that I was matched up with a psychopath? All I'm saying is that you could have told me. It's also a matter of establishing trust, you. You know, just five minutes ago, you were complaining about your mom hiding stuff from you. But you're doing the exact same to me. Obviously, you got that from her. Yeah. Well, I have no idea who you're taking after, but I understand why they no longer wanted you. Wow. Seriously? Couldn't pick a better angle? Oh, knock it off! You can't just play the orphan card every time. Wow. Just... Wow! I thought I knew you better than this. Ah, uh, go bloot yourself. You and your high horse. You should go back to the apiary if you're unhappy. I may just do that. Well, you have to figure out how to get there on your own, though. Don't count on me to be your chauffeur. 
Oh, no problem. I wasn't about to ask you for anything. Great. Perfect. You? You? Where are you hiding? You? <sighs> okay, well, great. All right then, I don't care. I have the nest to myself. Okay, you. You won. I, I can't stay mad at you. Come back. Let's talk about this calmly. You? Are you there? I I'm sorry about last night, but really it was kind of your fault as well. Okay, sorry, never mind. Please, come back. What? Okay, everything's fine. I'm alive. But you, if anything happened to her, I'll... trying to make me feel guilty well well you won where are you you when you were leaving home in the middle of the night in the apiary you did so to come and join me but now you don't even have anyone else to go to anyone to talk to huh. the vid chat Oh, yeah. 
Of course. No radar. You? You? No! Okay? Mm. Oh, you, you scared me. I thought you were... Oh! Don't move. You might have broken something. No, no, I, I think I'm okay. This isn't the highest I've fallen. What happened? I, uh, I don't know. I was angry. I wanted to get back to the vid chat to tell my mom to come and get me. And then, when I got back up there, I realized it was completely stupid. But I couldn't go home either, and I was still angry, and I was sad. And I was ashamed. And I was scared of your reaction if you knew that I came here. So, I just stayed up there, crying. And right when my legs started hurting from standing and my eyes started hurting from crying. Boom bada boom. I am so sorry, Kay. No, I'm sorry. I should have never said those things to you. Do you still love me? No, I love you even more. What? But why? I love you a little more every second that passes. That's how it is. You can't fight it. Huh. See, right now I love you a little more. And now a little more. Uh, we have to get back together soon, because I don't know what to do with all this love. <laughs> you idiot. Can you walk? I think I can. Okay, great. You should try to walk along the edge. I'll do the same. We'll and if there's no way? There's always a way. If you say so. Walk along the edge. Walk along the edge. <laughs> he can talk. He didn't even say which way I should go. I'm hearing his voice. Wait, that's it. I just thought about eating. I'm done. been here before? No. I don't think so. Kay would know.
You miss one person, and everything's rotten. I hope everything's okay with him. Poor guy. He must be terrified without me. Is it time to eat now? Kay! Just because of that poor Onosius. Oh, if I ever see him again.
You? Okay. Okay. I told you we'd find a way. Yeah. Well, I'm the one who did all the work. <laughs> Are you crying? No. <laughs> Let's not fight again. Agreed. At least that's one topic we won't fight over. <laughs> you know, when I was up there, I realized something. I don't know if they'll keep sending in drones. I don't know if we can live here. I don't know if we'll end up at the bottom of a crevasse one morning. Or torn to shreds by a beast that was too big for us to handle. Or put to death by the apiary. But I know that I never want to be away from you again. And if staying here is the only way, then I want to stay here. How do I seal this deal? A kiss. <laughs> hey, by here, I meant source. Not like right here. You can let go of my butt now. No. Mm, okay. 